Breaking news from China. On April 13, 2015, a Canadian tourist was running down a steep part of the Great Wall of China. The tourist ran into the old woman walking with her husband and knocked her down. The old woman hit her head on the corner of the wall and died minutes later. The Chinese police pressed no charges on the Canadians. There is lots of physical features in China, and one of those is the Manchurian Plain, which is right around here. The Manchurian Plain is China's largest plain, and it also has an average elevation of 16, 617 feet above sea level. The area is my, mildly densely populated, with 339 people per square mile. Another physical feature is the Taklamakan Desert, which is right here which is the second largest desert in the world, and it has very little rain and is deadly to cross. Another desert is the Gobi Desert, which is right here. And the Gobi Desert is a cold desert with frost and, oca frost and occasionally occurring snow cover co occurring on its dunes. In the winter, the Gobi can get as low as negative 40, and in the summer, it can get up to 122 degrees. And the Yellow River, right here, is the third longest river in Asia, and it is called the Yellow River because of the less and the silt in the river. <clears throat> and the next one is the Yangtze River, which is right here. And it is the longest river in Asia, and is the third longest Thank river you. in the world. China has subarctic, humid continental, steppe, humid subtropical, desert, highlands, and tropical climates. In the far north part of China, there is a subarctic climate, climate zone in which temperatures can reach down to negative 40 degrees. In the humid subtropical zone in China, um, the temperature is fairly warm all year round. The steppe and desert climates are found in the major desert areas of China. They have very hot days and cold nights. You'll find the highland climate in the more landlocked parts of China. What are we doing anyway? The temperature varies locally. There, but no, the but tropical I'm rainforest climate is found in Hunan only. Pictures. There are very high temperatures and no what distinct dry season. China is a highly developed country. China is ranked 15th in the world for development with an HDI number of 0 0.891. The GDP per capita is 7,368.68. As of 2010, the literacy rate for China is 91.6. That shows that China educates its people well. The life expectancy is 74.99 years, and the infant mortality rate is 16.06 .06 deaths per 1,000 live births. This shows how advanced their medical systems are. China has 507 airports, which shows how developed the transportation systems are. Most people live in the eastern side of China because the conditions are more favorable, favorable there, and the coast allows for easier trade. China's government has a lot to do with its history. Around 221 BC, Qin Shi Huangdi unifies China and becomes its first emperor. In 1368 to 1644 AD, um, um, painting, calligraphy, pottery, and other arts flourished. In 1839 through 1860, in the Opium Wars, China and the Western nations battle over trade issues. 1931 to 1945, Japan invades the province of Manchuria after Japan defeated after Japan is defeated in World War II. Civil war breaks out in China. In 1949, Mao Zedong, head of the Communist Party, establishes the People's Republic of China. Rivals belong to the Nationalist Party, moved to Taiwan off China's eastern coast. In 1958 to 1961, Mao's plan to change China's economy and farming system fails. Millions of people die of starvation. In 1972, Richard M. Nixon becomes the first U.S. president to visit the Communist China. In 1997, China regains control of Hong Kong which was under British rule for 99 years. In 2006, the Three Gorges River Dam is completed. It took 13 years to build. In 2008, Beijing holds the Olympics. In 2010, China finally surpasses Japan, the world's second largest economy. The Spring Festival marks the beginning of the Lunar New Year. It is a time to honor ancestors and eat traditional foods. They have fireworks, parades, and people dressed as dragons. Eastern style martial arts like Kung Fu came to be in China. Kung Fu is based on animal movements and 
and was created in the 1600s. The bamboo pole dance of the Lee ethnic group is another event that they do for fun. The participants squat or kneel in pairs opposite each other and hold the end of a, ba of a bamboo pole in each hand. The couples bring the poles back and forth with the rhythm of the music. Dancers perform between the poles, ensuring that they maintain a rhythm that is in time with the poles so that they can avoid being trapped between them. This is a very skillful and entertaining sight. The Chinese government is weird. They're communist, but they have a president. But to be elected, you have to be part of the Communist Party. The current president is Xi Jinping. China is communist, but if you go to China, they will call it the People's Republic of China. The, pres the presidential term for each president is about four years, which is the same as America's president's term. Here you see China's population pyramid. The population pyramid is smaller at the top because around 1970, there was a strict one-child rule that was in place, which says that every family can have one child, but if they have a girl as their first child, then they can have two. And the population is growing because the law is getting less strict about the one-child labor law. This is a ancient Chinese traditional dish called Dragon Tiger Phoenix which the ingredients are snake, chicken, and cat. And it's said that this meal is used to fortify the body. And this right here is Chinese coleslaw, which the ingredients are um, ramen noodles, vinegar, sugar, coleslaw, and onions, and you mix them all together. And then this right here is fried ice cream. And fried ice cream is a des is a dessert in China, and it is made by deep frying ice cream and making a warm, crispy shell around the still cold ice cream. And the most common religion in China is Taoism. Taoism is philosophical and reflects a balanced relationship between humans and nature. Tao is the basic concept of Taoism. This refers to a road extending in one direction or the way of ultimate reality which is too complicated for us to understand.